Congratulations on getting started using AIM Insights with your team. The first thing you're probably thinking of is how do I introduce this tool to my team? I think for one, if your team has already become accustomed to taking surveys, this is a pretty easy and seamless transition. They know what's going on. But if they've not been asked to take surveys before from you, this is something that might be a difficult topic to bring up. What's really critical is that when you are introducing this tool to your team, that you are vulnerable. And I know that may sound crazy. I know that may sound like that may not work, but I'm telling you the most effective way to get your employees to buy in to why you're starting to use this tool is because you need help. If you can actually say, hey, you want to know what? I want to start using AIM Insights because I believe I can be a better manager, but I don't actually know what are the challenges going on with us. And I believe that AIM Insights can help us garner that information. Your people are much more likely to buy in. Versus if you were to say, hey, you know, I needed to take the survey every month and, um, you know, just complete it however, you know, whenever you're reminded to do it and just do it because I said so, unlikely to garner the buy-in that you're hoping for. But if you can say, hey, I need your help, there's this thing called the IKEA effect. Essentially what that says is people are much more likely to do things for others if they helped build it or they helped them in the process of doing that. There's a ton of power in asking for help. People are much more likely to, to support, be committed to and and do the things that you ask them to do if you frame it in the form of i need help i'm a little bit vulnerable i am not a perfect being and that i could benefit from having the insights from this tool your people are much more likely to buy into that that is one of the best ways to go about getting your team to not only take the initial assessment to take the, but to take the subsequent surveys after the first assessment